Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Panini Contenders Baseball. It's a full 12 box case break, random team number three. A uh, lot of combos here as well. This is true. This is great odds and an amazing price for a St. Nick promo spot. So big thanks to this group for getting in on it. It's a sharp play. There are all the teams right there with the combos. And let's roll it. Randomize names and teams. One and a five, six times. One, two, three, four, five. And once more, sixth and final time. After six, we've got Mike Krasinski down to Adam Kupperman. One and a five, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five. And once more, sixth and final time. After six, we got the Diamondbacks-Mets combo all the way down to the St. Louis Cardinals. All right, Mike with the Diamondbacks-Mets combo, Adam with the Red Sox, Jaden with the Tigers, Michael with the Marlins, Darla with the Royals, Michael with the Brewers A's combo, Adam with my Dodgers and the Twins combo. Nick with the O's, Adam with the Braves, Brennan with the Cubs Blue Jays combo, Martin with the Rangers, Jeremy with the Yankees, Peter with the Pirates, Michael with the Angels, Jeremy with the Rockies Nationals combo, Jonathan with the Phillies, Alan with the Rays, Devin with the Reds, Brian with the Indians Giants combo, Mike with the Astros, Monty with the White Sox, Martin with the Padres, Kevin with the M's, and AK with the STL. All right, let's sort alphabetically by team, by column A. And the uh, Contenders Baseball checklist is in the chat if you're watching live from groupbreakchecklist.com. You can check that out and uh, feel free to trade. I'm going to pause the video when we come back. We'll see if there's any trades and then we'll do the break. Stick around. Be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. There was a little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done in this 12-box break of 2021 Panini Contenders Baseball. Uh, brand new release, or more more recently, a recent release, dropped on Friday, I believe. Now we're doing a case here on Monday the 20th. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. And remember, this is a uh, St. Nick break as well. So at the end of the break, we'll re-randomize all of your names. And top two, we'll get into the promo. Check out the prize list. We're giving away, we'll check out the grand prize, $12,000 of break credit. That's not a joke. Check it out. Check out the details, jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right, and settle in, ladies and gentlemen. Get comfortable because this break is going to take about an hour of our time. Six autographs per box on average. Got a big sack of top loaders right here. Oh. Let's go. Let's roll. Now, what what have we what have we seen in this break? Well, we're, Jason did. Uh, we're on break three. So Jason did two of these. Any anything anything interesting? Any low numbers or anything like that? Any uh, any big hits? Get ready for some points. All right, so there's gonna be some points. Winner take all on the points. Which is how I usually do it. First two cases of five points cards. All right, well, there'll be one happy person at the end. Here's what we'll do. We'll actually make the points uh, spot three. What do you think? Let's do that. All 
looks like the chin is down there before the elbow hits. There's a shadow there too, right? That way we can just do one randomizer. Right, so at the end of the break, we'll do the randomizer for the promo. We'll do St. Nick, St. Nick, and all the points, winner take all and the points in the third spot right there. I'll just make it easy uh, for the randomizer. All right. Well, I, I like this clean design here. I'm into this. So these are obviously different parallels, so that will ship. And our first autograph is a Cracked Ice, 1 out of 23. It's a classic Cracked Ice number. That's Luis Alexander Basabe. For my rivals, the San Francisco Baseball Giants. And I'll do an autograph recap at the end as well. Uh, Giants, that's going to go to the Indians-Giants combo, Brian Crouch. Oh, a couple of contenders optic cards right there too. I'm assuming all cards do not ship. It doesn't say. So maybe all cards do ship. I can't. All cards. I wouldn't be surprised if all cards don't ship, ladies and gentlemen. There's Verdugo and Travis Blankenhorn, rookie ticket autograph. Rookie ticket autograph for the text is kind of small right there. The New York Mets. That'll be for. Where's the Mets? That's is that a combo? Yeah, Diamondbacks Mets combo. Mike, with that one. God, I like these Chrome cards here though. It's a Kyle Lewis silver. Aha! Uh -huh, there are the points that I was warned about. We'll keep those aside right over there. You can kind of see it off camera. So that will uh, that will replace, generally replaces an auto or a low numbered card or something like that. And we got Kyle Cody for the Rangers. That'll go to Martin and the Texas Rangers. Cool looking Ryan Mountcastle. And we've got a prospect ticket. Drew Waters. On card autograph for Adam and the Braves. A bit about Drew right there. I think he's one of the top, one of their top prospects, maybe. I don't know. He might, might be up there. Hit 309 between Double A AA and Triple A in 2019. Seven home runs, 52 RBIs, 16 stolen bases. We'll see. And we've got a nice diamond ticket parallel. Bo Bichette, 8 or 3 out of 15. Kind of hard to tell with the plaid in the background. It's 3. Uh, Toronto is comboed with the Cubs, Brennan. It's the diamond ticket, Bo Bichette. Oh, and, ooh, nice. Prospect ticket autograph, Julio Rodriguez. A little bit of a dent right there, but nice on-card autograph for Seattle. Kevin with that one. 
And there's Otani. You're at AL MVP. All right, next box. Well, we've got Bears Vikings on in the background. I have a little financial interest in the uh, in the Bears at plus six and a half, but they have just not been helping me out today. Missed field goals, couple two or three trips into the red zone, no points out of there. I mean, the defense has been doing pretty pretty well. Has held the Vikings to. 17 points and some stalled drives for the better part of three and a half quarters, basically, almost ended the game. And Bears just haven't been able to to turn it around and make some points out of it. There's Edouard Colina, contenders autograph for Minnesota. It's part of the Dodgers Twins combo. That's for AK. I'm assuming some of these can be numbered. There you go, 91 out of 99. Blue background, Manny Machado. And that contender's optic design, that will be for the Friars. That's gonna go to Martin. There's another Drew Waters, Adam. Draft ticket autograph this time, 96 out of 99 for the world champs. points. And we've got a Michael Burroughs. I wonder if any relation to Bo Burroughs. Here's Michael, though, for the Pirates. He's got the Buckos. That's going to be for Peter and the Pirates. Peter and the Pirates. Boom, 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 boom. This, this guy's got some upside, right? Royce Lewis? Prospect ticket autograph? Wait, did Roy? I think Royce Lewis. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. I might be. This, this is a Dodgers Twins combo, Adam. I want to say that he like tore his ACL, I think, in like spring training or even before spring training, which pretty much, pretty much ruined his entire season. But I think he was on the cusp of maybe greatness. This guy got paid, and I miss Corey Seager. And we got Nick Madrigal, nice one for the White Sox. Still White Sox edition here, seventy-seven out of ninety-nine. That'll be for Monty and the Shy Sox. You can tell by the, the color on the back. Should I double check? I'll, I'll double check. Although actually checklist. No, rookie ticket autos. Oh, this is going to be confusing. Uh, draft ticket and rookie ticket autos. All those variations are um, White Sox on the checklist, but there is a retro rookie ticket that uh, that goes to the Cubs, card eight. You gotta make it confusing. Right, it's the retro design mix up. I was saying this is the normal design. This is this year's design. All right, onwards. Next box. 
McSubb, who also was saying the only good thing that can be said about Chicago tonight is that it looks like our practice squad cornerback could be a baller. Yeah, silver linings. Matt Nagy's got to go, right? Like, I mean, I guess what's the point at this stage of the season? You know, I don't know if it's really going to change much, but... But, um, doesn't seem like a bad guy, but, but really just has to, maybe just a, a different voice. I mean, he's supposed to be, the thing is, he's supposed to be an offensive-minded coach. I'm looking at his Wikipedia right now. I think he, he used to be a quarterback as a player, you know, played in some, looks like some AFL leagues and whatnot was an Eagles coaching assistant, an offensive quality control coach, Kansas City quarterbacks coach, Alex Smith years, Kansas City offensive coordinator, 16 and 17. So I don't know. I don't know what happened. I, head coaching is a tough gig, though. But you would think that at least the offense, there's rookie of the year contenders, Chris Rodriguez. For the Halos. It's going to be for Michael. Yeah, match. <laughs> Nagy should have been fired already, says Mix Up. You got to, yeah, you got to think. Come on. At least the offense. And there's Jose Marmolejos. Rookie ticket autograph for Seattle. That's going to go to Kevin. So, like, what what happens, Big Sub? I feel like, was he just offensive coordinator in name only in 16 and 17? Those Chiefs teams look pretty good. It's Chris Bryant to 99. It's Giants edition. You know what I mean? So, like, what happens between that and suddenly he becomes head coach and all of a sudden... He becomes a bland play caller? Or is Andy Reid probably probably taking more credit for that than than Matt Nagy? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe maybe the truth is it was It was Andy Reid. There's Tyler Stevenson for Cincinnati 47 out of 9. Maybe it was Andy Reid that was really the brains behind the offense and Matt Nagy was just just there. Not really the brains behind the operation. Uh, we're on in Cincinnati. Devin with the Reds. There's Luis Reyes to 149. And behind Mitch Hanniger is Alec Manoa, draft ticket autograph, 55 out of 75. Toronto. Um, that will be for the Cubs Blue Jays combo, Brendan. Brendan with that one. There's Luis Areyes for the Twins. That'll be for Adam. Andy Reid, mostly, Nick Sub saying, but also, I think now that he's the one who's answerable for the calls, he's just become risk adverse. I think that happens. That's a, that's a common story amongst. Uh, First time head coaches, because I think head coaches have, it's just a completely different responsibility from like a, from when you're just focusing on just the offense or the defense as a coordinator. There's Donnie Walton for Seattle. It's another one for Kevin. So yeah, I, th I think that's, a, it's a different animal. That's why I think a lot of times you see, you see coaches who become more successful in their second stint as a coach. You know, not everyone's, I don't know, not everyone's Sean McVay or, or even Cliff Kingsbury, you know what I mean? I don't think that just happens as often. There's Brent Rooker, rookie ticket autograph for Minnesota. 
Yeah, and Gilo is saying, listen, Nagy's all right. Bear is just hard to fix. Right. McSub also mentioning that Bear's front office has not helped with roster construction as well. I mean, hell, I mean, even, even, I know this is a different, sort of a different era, but Belichick was fired at one point, right? At the same time, I also, I also, uh, you know, don't want to pull the, the trigger. I mean, unless it's like an Urban Meyer situation, you don't want to. Pull the ripcord on a on a on a coach too early. You want to give him some time, but I think for the Bears, he was he was head coach according to Wikipedia t starting twenty eighteen. I feel like that's enough. We've we've kind of seen enough, right? All right, we got rookie roundup Peter Solomon. That is for Houston. That's going to go to Mike G. Mike, I think we got two Mike Gs here. We got a Michael and a Mike, Mike Rosinski with Houston. The other Michael G. Michael Galato is the other Michael. That might be numbered. It is. Two out of 49, Trey Turner. Oh, it says Los Angeles. Yeah, Dodgers edition. And there's a draft ticket autograph, 96 out of 99, Edward Carrera, Cabrera, that is, for Miami. That's going to go to my, the other Michael G., Michael Galato. And I guess Trey Turner goes to Adam and the Dodgers. Trey Turner will be starting shortstop after Corey Seager got a, his big payday. Good for Corey Seager. Not good for the Dodgers, though. Oh, another set of points here. We'll add it, add it to that pile. Huh. Really? Is that what the is? That's kind of weird, Chad. Is that what the tracking number says, or behind Corey Seager is Michael Perez, Pittsburgh? That goes to Peter. What's what shipping service was it? And there's future stars, 14 out of 99, Christian Robinson, Arizona, Mike Krasinski. Right, mix-up, yeah. Four, four seasons, you kind of know. Tracking says delivered by U USPS to agent. It usually doesn't say that unless you live in a apartment complex or, or gated community or something like that where you have a leasing office. There's Andy Pagas, 24 out of 75, up and coming Dodgers prospect. Another one for the Dodgers and Adam. Exactly, mix up. He was supposed to be the, supposed to bring an offensive mindset, and yet some poor drafting and, and now just uninspired coaching. There's Jonathan India. Nice. And this plaid design. 13 out of 15. Diamond ticket autograph. I think this is exactly what Devin was looking for. There you go. Nice.
pretty solid player there too. When that Kettle Marte was numbered. I think these red ones are not numbered. No worries, Devin. Thanks for getting in. But yeah, I'm excited saying now we've wasted Max best years. That that's the only silver lining the Raiders fans like myself get. Huh. That's very that's very strange, Chad. I don't think I don't think I've ever heard anything like that. You can reach out to our customer service team. First off, make sure um, make sure they have an idea. You know, make sure they know what's going on. They might have some extra advice. I would contact if you have a, le a regular if you if you kind of know or you have a regular mail carrier, right? Then maybe you can talk to that person. Check with neighbors. Maybe maybe they didn't want to leave it on a, on your doorstep. They gave it to a neighbor instead. I would definitely call the post office and reach out to them and say, "What in the world does this mean?" There's Scott Barlow for Kansas City. wasn't Wasn't Scott Barlow the singer of uh, "Take That"? Remember "Take That" with Robbie Williams? Uh, this is uh, Scott Barlow, Kansas City, Darla with the Royals. Was it Scott Barlow? I'm going to find find out who the sneaky, uh, whoever corrects me, I'm going to find out who the sneaky Take That fans are. There's Jonathan Hughes for Philadelphia, for the Phillies. That's going to go to... Uh, It's going to go to Jonathan. <laughs> I knew Mix Up would get it. It's Gary Barlow. I knew it was Gary Barlow. I was trying to find out. I was just trying to, trying to suss out the... Uh... No, I knew Mix Up. I was trying to secretly suss out the, the Take That fans in here. Spencer Howard, rookie ticket autograph. Yeah, I dare not offend such a great British institution. Jonathan with the uh, with the Phillies. There's that a 149 draft ticket, Glaber Torres, and a Jazz Chisholm. And all that jazz. That goes to Michael Galat. I don't know where that came from. Miami Marlins. I'm not even sure what musical that comes from. That I honestly don't know. Uh, Glaber Torres for the Yankees, of course. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Post Service is pretty slammed. Is Logan Collister here? Maybe Logan's listening in the background. He works for the United States Postal Service. Maybe he can give us some suggestions. But I know I know they've been pretty slammed, so they may not be super accurate on scans, but in that case, where's your package? There's Curtis Terry. Contender's autograph for Texas, Martin. Sure, you've heard the story before, Martin, of uh, Robbie Williams living here in L.A. and loving the anonymity. <laughs> like he doesn't get hassled in L.A. Most people don't know who he is. Is Vlad Guerrero Jr. to '99? He says he could play like he can play footy in like West Hollywood and parks in West Hollywood with his mates. No one bothers him. There's Vlad Guerrero Jr. Toronto. He can go to the Whole Foods. No one bothers him. 
I think he moved back to, to England, but he was here for a while. Tyler Stevenson, another Cincinnati red leg. On card auto, and that is for Cincinnati. Devin. I haven't either. That's why I, I would I would try to be more helpful, Chad, if I had more ideas. But definitely contact the Postal Service for sure. Sort of a sort of a hassle, but that might help. I'm trying to think some other situations like this. Yeah, he did come. Oh yeah. So yeah, Robbie used to live like 15 minutes from you. There you go. My guess, sometimes, I've seen this happen before, like during busy season, sometimes um, they'll do a premature scan, like they think they're going to get to it at the end of the night, they scan it really quick, and then they're like, whoops, something else came up, so it gets, it stays in the truck and then, the, and, and then it gets to you the next day, I've seen that happen before, not often, but I've seen it. Oh yeah, Mixed Up was saying it's Christmas time. So for our TV, that means three things. Gary Barlow is gonna be on a TV concert. Buble, thought out, sing some Christmas songs. You got to, you have to. Right, that's what I was gonna say, Adam. Adam's right. I've had times where they said they were delivered and they weren't, and then it shows up the next day. We got Geraldo Perdomo for Mike Krasinski and the Diamondbacks. And we got we got Jose Marmolejo. Marmo Marmolejos. There you go. I just got to slow it down. Don't rush it. That'll be for Seattle. It's another one for Kevin. There is 73 at 99. Ticket to stardom, Javier Baez. Who's, I think, with the Tigers, right? I think he signed just before the lockout. I think this is still, this is New York edition. It'll be in the AL, I think, for the first time. <laughs> Cor correct, yes. There's Brent Rooker, draft ticket autograph, 67 out of 99. Minnesota Twins, Adam. So yeah, I mean, it, this is this uh, could be could be the partner, the significant other, could be the mysterious agent. There's a cracked ice, twenty three out of twenty three. Garrett Cole, nice one for the Yankees. That's for Jeremy. What's up, Jonathan? You got randomized the Phillies. I think there was an auto in there for you. And a Sixto Sanchez autograph? Yes, rookie ticket on card auto. Michael Galato and the Fish. Miami Marlins. I'll do an autograph recap at the end of the break, everybody. In addition to some of the numbered cards. Numbered cards are not too common, actually. They're like maybe one, maybe two a box, if that. These are non-numbered parallels right there. And we got a Donnie Walton, another Mariner. Mickey Moniak, there you go. 
The Phillies knew you were here, Hollywood. That might be your second or third auto right there. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? That very last play. Right. No, the extra point. All right, halfway through this full case break. About another 30 or so minutes to go. I mean, there were missed opportunities for the Bears all over the place. Missed field goals. They were in the red zone. I think they were inside, like, they were inside, like, the 10-yard line, 15-yard line a number of times. No touchdowns. Darnell Mooney just missed that touchdown by a step. Jimmy Graham had a touchdown that was that... That was right in his hands and bounced right out. Very uncharacteristic of Jimmy Graham. So. Maybe, maybe uh, bears go on the do not bet list. Uh-huh, more points. Add that to the pile, winner take all. And we got a draft ticket autograph. Andy Abanez, 41 out of 99. Goes to Texas, that'll be for Martin. And we got a Cody Whitley, St. Louis, Adam. You know, that, that, Adam, that reminds me of Adam saying, regardless of whether I win or lose this week, it's going to be one of the worst fantasy weeks I've ever seen. I remember a few years back, I actually made it to the championship. And... Ooh, a plate. And I had been cruising that season, right? Shohei Otani plate, nice. I'll finish the story after the train whistle. Look at that, halos. Michael, Michael Galato. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. Here's your AL MVP. Nice. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Pretty, pretty nice. And that's followed up by an on-card autograph, Wander Franco. Nice, 11 out of 99 draft ticket on-card auto for the Rays, Alan Murdoch in Tampa Bay. Nice. An Otani plate and a Wander Franco. Right, back to back. I think this might be a hot box because all of those have been in that that dark blue, dark purple parallel. There's Jonah Heim, 35 out of 99. That's for Texas. It's for Martin. Oh, and that Mitch Hanniger is number nine out of forty-nine. Oh, I was gonna say that. So I'd been cruising the scene. I mean, it was a my two quarterback league. The 
uh, non PPR standard scoring, and in that I was still scoring like 150 points a game. You know, it, I was just just killing it the entire season. Got to the playoffs with another buddy of mine, and they're all buddies of mine. But there's Ben Bowden for Colorado. That's going to be for Jeremy Port, and um, we both of us proceeded to have the worst weeks of our lives. I think the um, I think I ended up winning that year, but it was like 73 to 68 or something crazy like that. It was bad. <laughs> and, and, and the entire league, all of our friends were like, wow. If I had faced you that week, you would have been smoked. You would have been dusted. One of the one of the worst weeks ever, and barely scraped it out. <laughs> top fantasy QB so far this week. Tyrell, Tyler Huntley, Duke Johnson is the top fantasy running back so far this week. That's wild. Duke Johnson. I didn't know he was still in the league. This guy here is dead. Cross him off then. Remember that? <laughs> Adam's reporting 3% of the ESPN team started Tyler Huntley. 0% started, started Duke Johnson. Huntley was the Ravens guy, right? Um, I think, yeah, he, Carl, Carl was saying earlier today in the stream that the, the player he was playing, his opponent, had sat Mark Andrews. Here's some more points right there. Had sat Mark Andrews because of Tyler Huntley. And Mark Andrews ended up having like, you know, 30 some odd points in his league scoring. We got TJ Anton, 48 out of 49. That's for Cincinnati. We're on Cincinnati, Devin. TJ, Tehe? We'll have to wait till he makes it to the bigs. And we've got a Ramon Urias, 25 out of 75, draft ticket autograph for the O's. Nick L. with Baltimore. It is TJ? Okay. Will, Will Christian says it's TJ. We got draft ticket, Ronald Acuna Jr. to 149 for the Braves. And then we've got a Cabrian Hayes draft ticket autograph, 17 out of 99. Nice, that is for Peter and the Pirates. There you go. Save it to the bottom of the of the pack. To make the recap a little more exciting. Cunha goes to Adam. There's TJ again. Cracked ice this time. Eight out of twenty-three. Devin. Love the way the cracked ice looks. Always sharp. And we've got a, another Cody Whitley. 
for the Cardinals. It'll be for Adam. I think that's usually height weight on contenders. All right, four boxes to go. All right. I'm not sure what's going on with baseball. Hopefully we won't lose any games. Let's see what MLBTradeRumors.com is saying. The uh, Yeah, this was the other day. Mets acquire Buck Showalter as, uh, as manager. Yeah, I think he'd been doing a lot of MLB Network stuff. So I don't know. Is that is that the answer? Uh, remember Ivan Nova? Looks like he's going to go to the KBO, Korean Baseball Organization. A's hiring. Remember Mark Kotze? A's going to hire Mark Kotze as manager. Red signed Jake Bauer to a minor league deal. I think Andrew Suarez is going to play in Japan. So is Colin Ray. Nothing too exciting. I think I did see a report that that the union and, uh, and the o o owners, represented for the owners, kind of got together and talked about some, uh, I think, some minor things. There's Clay Aguilar. I think, is that Mets? Let's double check the checklist. And I can't tell by the color on the back. So they talked about some, uh, some outside things. Clay Aguilar is a Yankee. But I, from what I read, I don't think, does not seem like uh, Yankees, that's for Jeremy Port. Uh, I don't think they're going to really have serious discussions until after the new year. All right, and cracked ice. Joshua uh, Corneli. Cracked ice autograph also for New York, but ambiguous color. Well, he's not on the Yankees list, so he must be a Met. Yeah. Metropolitans. So New York team's hitting. Mets are comboed with the Diamondbacks, Mike Krasinski. We got a Dalton Varsho rookie ticket autograph for Zona. Mike Krasinski. Yeah, well, I hope hopefully we don't lose any regular season games. Although I, I don't know, we'll probably lose. I don't know, we might lose regular. Maybe we'll lose spring training games, but not regular season games. I'll have to figure that out because, you know, pitchers. I think I guess the hitters can adjust pretty quickly, but pitchers have to stretch out their arms. You know, especially the starters. So. They got to get that pitch count up. Rookie ticket autograph, Tariq Skubal. For Detroit, that's going to go to Jaden and the Tigers. You're gearing up for losing regular season games. Well, we may lose, hopefully not too much. Hopefully we don't lose more than like a week. And that hopefully that may only be because of 
hopefully that may only mean because of negotiations kind of took long and they're trying to have a full spring training. There's Nico uh, Decolati for Colorado. That'll be for the Rockies Nationals combo. Jeremy Port, last spot mojo. Strikes. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. Or so they say. That's the rumor around town. Around Brakesville. There are whispers around Brakesville. There's Monty Harrison. Rookie ticket autograph. Big flourish there too. I like that, Monty. That's for Miami. Monty, Miami Marlins for Michael. Good alliteration there too. Three more boxes to go. Good luck. So going to MLBTradeRumors.com and going to their uh, their top 50, according to them, free agents. So Carlos Correa is still out there. I wonder where he ends up. Corey Seager signed for $325 million for 10 years. I think Carlos Correa is looking for that kind of money. I think close to it. I think he's he's probably looking for something around there. But I don't know how the how the financial landscape changes after all these negotiations. We got Spencer Strider. Will's thinking Correa higher average, annual average, less years. I could see that too. Uh, Braves, that'll be for Adam. Right, at what point would I really, yeah, if we, if we lose like 20 games, yeah, that's when I'd be like, oh man, this is not good. We've got Yadiel Gonzalez for Detroit. Jaden. You have a feeling Carlos Correa goes to the Angels. That would be a very Angelsy thing to do. And just, just not get any pitching at all. There's Zach McKinstry to 99 for the Dodgers, which is really what they need. But nah. <laughs> Coming off major injury, Noah Syndergaard, plus Shohei Otani and others. And they just hit, hit their way out of it, I, I suppose. There's Leody Tavares for the Rangers. Rookie ticket on-card auto for Martin and the Rangers. Martin saying, I'd be surprised if the season starts before 4th of July. Wow. You think we'll miss half a season? I don't know. I don't want to say it, but but look how long it took. Uh, look how long it took them to just figure out the the pandemic season of 2020, and they they only just figured things out for this season too. Ooh, nice Spencer Torkelson, prospect ticket autograph for Detroit. Jaden, there you go, Jaden. Right, just that's what they've been doing for 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 decades. It seems like will just make a splash. Hey, let's just get Anthony Rendon. Let's make a splash. 
Let's let's give Josh Hamilton all this money. Let's make a splash. Let's give Justin Upton all this money. Let's make a splash. I guess that's the way they'll keep keep doing things. There's Jake Etter. Autograph for Miami. That'll be for Michael. Trey Turner blue to 99. And Christian Javier. Rookie ticket autograph. That guy, he could he was mostly out of the pen last year, but he could be a top of the rotation guy. Mike Rosinski, Astros. I calculated my top loader situation correctly. I forgot about the numbered cards. I started top loading the numbered cards and I was just like, well, I gotta keep consistent. I just keep going with it. All right, two boxes to go, 12 autographs to go. Um, plus that pile of points and the St. Nick randomizer to see who gets into the St. Nick promo. Yeah, isn't that wild? Vikings beat the Bears with 61 passing yards versus 255. Is that right? Kirk Cousins only had 61 passing yards? No. That's a wild stat. That's crazy. Now, a little bit better than that, real time. 87 passing yards from Kirk Cousins. Why does it say 61? It says team. I think that must be... It says 87 in the yards area, but 61 in the team total area. It's kind of weird. Anyway, yeah. Under 100 yards. And they beat the... Uh, they beat the Bears. Which is wild. And there's just a lot of... Untimely. Oh, they subtract sack yardage. Okay, that's what it was. I was like, where is it? Where are these numbers coming from? Thanks, Adam. Um, yeah. But yeah, bad penalties for the Bears. Untimely turnovers, muffed punts, and fumbles, and this and that and the other. Like it's just. Bad, bad performance. Uh, there's Willie McIver for Colorado. That's going to be for Jeremy and the Rockies. Yeah, McSub is going back to the Angels. McSub saying, hey, they don't really have much choice. Competition for eyeballs. They need to make a splash every year. I mean, kind of, but I, I feel like in the, it's really Orange County, so it's like... It's an hour south of here, which may as well be a different world out down there. I think, I think families will will go to the stadium just to go. I don't think they're gonna have trouble filling seats. Uh, there's Brian Van Bell. You can ring my bell, ring my bell, Adam with the Boston Red Sox. But I mean they they. You know they're they're in a market where that stadium, Anaheim Stadium, Angel Stadium will will will, will fill up. So I mean, they should really just not feel like they have to be they have to like keep up with the Joneses. There's Estevan Floreal, but I think Artie Moreno often goes like, "Well, we want Anthony." Or they, he feels like he does have to keep up with the Joneses. So so sometimes player development doesn't. Goes by the wayside a little bit. 
Ronald Acuna Jr. to 99. And Isaac Paredes for the Tigers, I think. Yeah, Detroit. That's your autograph, Jaden. Yeah, they had four fumbles, three lost. Three lost fumbles. Can't do that. Can't do one interception for 27 yards. Can't do that. You know, a missed field goal. Can't do that. Now, I don't know where it, where it has penalty yards, but I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's here somewhere. Yeah, can't do that. Those are not good. Penalties. Bears had nine penalties for 91 yards. Yeah, that's you can't do that. <laughs> we got a Nico Decolati. For the Purple Mountains Majesty, Jeremy, Colorado. I mean, that's, that's a lot. Shane Beaver to 49. That'll be for the Tribe. Brian Crouch. And another Leody Tavares for Martin. Rookie ticket autograph. Almost done, folks. Oh, no, Ryan. I thought we reached our, our filler spot quota of the day. All right. Um... We're all we're down to the last box. I see a little over a dozen orders coming in, maybe. So maybe people still want to break after this. We do have a couple hours left. So let's see what's filling up. Haha, <laughs> I see. With the Christmas bonus coming in in a few days, the missus won't even know it's gone. Didn't get one this year. Six autographs, hopefully no points. First one is Davey Garcia, rookie ticket autograph for the Bronx Bombers. Jeremy Port. There's a Willie McIver. It's a name, name of a, could, could be a name of a band. McIver.
We got a Cody Poteet. He's not big. He's he's Poteet. Rookie ticket autograph. Trey Mancini. Freddie Freeman. He he actually I thought he was gonna sign before before the deadline. And there's Nate Pearson, the flame throwing Nate Pearson. 59 out of 75. 6'2, 250. He doesn't look, does he look 6'2, 250? Not. I guess maybe, yeah. See, that's 6'5", 220. That's 6'2", 250. Not that there's anything wrong with that, Nate. I'm just saying you look a lot more trim in that picture. Just in case Nate Pearson's watching. All right. There's Ripken Reyes. For the Padres, that'll be for Martin and the Friars. He is a shortstop. Well, the name like Ripken, you got to be a shortstop, right? I'll bet there's a good story behind that. Yeah, Chad, I agree. Pierce Pearson, that guy can can what hit triple digits regularly. He could be. You know, give give him a little time to just marinate and evolve as a pitcher. It's Kettle Marte, and he's gonna be he's gonna be pretty pretty good. All right, Dalton Varsho. Yeah, right. Pearson does eat his potatoes. That's right. There is a Jeter Downs. As he was, I think, he was in the Dodgers organization for half a second. There's a Ripken Reyes and a Jeter Downs. And there's a Yohan Mankata refractor at the end. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you kind of have to be destined to play baseball. It'd be pretty disappointing if. Uh, if your like name is Jeter Downs and you just and didn't end up being good at baseball, that's a lot of confidence there. But maybe that's what, maybe that's the confidence you need. Maybe that just changes everything. If my name was Jeter Jaspi instead of Joe Jaspi, would my life have been different growing up knowing that I've had that that imbues me with a false sense of confidence but makes me work harder at baseball, just fooling myself into thinking I have the natural talent. We may never know. All right. What I do know is that we're going to give away two St. Nick spots. And the third part, we're going to give away all these points. Then we'll do a recap right over here. So let's flip back to this screen right over here. So pretty decent odds because there's only 24 spots in this break because of all the combos. New dice, new list, and fingers crossed. We're going to randomize that list four times. One and a three. Four times. One, two, three and a one. Three and a one, fourth and final time. After four times, from four on down, it's sad times. So Devin, ah, very close to getting some points at the very least, some con consolation points, but no cigar. Thanks everybody for giving this a shot. I appreciate it. Third name, you got the points, but not the St. Nick spot. But a consolation prize for Jeremy Port, Last Spot Mojo. So a little something going your way. Those points actually could come in handy. People buy them, then you can actually buy some exclusive packs in the Panini Rewards Store. I think. So I think they, they do have some good value, especially with that stack of points. We got a 150, a 250, 250, 150, 150. Five total points cards. 
All right, all of those, winner take all. Top two, you're very happy because you are in. Michael Galato, you're in the St. Nick promo. And Monty, the M's, you're in the St. Nick promo. Top two after four, congrats. And your recap. Uh, it's not that sad times, Hollywood. You should watch some of the videos we've done today. Or check the promo list. I think you'll find that you'll be less sad times. A lot of autos in here. A lot of future stars, I hope. That's what that's what we're hoping for, right? Nice Jonathan India to 15. A lot of nice autos here. A lot of good numbered cards. We saw that Cabrian Hay. Do we see the Cabrian Hayes yet? Did I spoiler alert? If you're only watching the recap. Nick Madrigal, White Sox edition. Julio Rodriguez. Some Drew Waters. We got a Cracked Ice. Basabe, Wander Franco to 99. And Otani Plate. There's the Cabrian Hayes. 17 out of 99. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.